you're looking for perfume that will get attention from anyone, I mean anyone, keep watching. If you're looking to find out how you can pick the best fragrance for your body chemistry, stay to the end of this video. Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's your girl, Coco Styles. And on this channel, we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling. Today, I want to get into some fragrances that I absolutely love that I am going to be wearing this fall. But if you are a girly who does not like attention, these may not be for you. The first fragrance that I'm going to be wearing this for is Jo Malone Mimosa in Cardamom. If you are a lady who does not like attention or who doesn't like people giving them compliments, this is not for you. If you are, definitely check this out. It is lighter in color as opposed to the rest of the fragrances that I have. So the top note for this fragrance would be the Cardamom. The middle note is going to be the Mimosa and the base note is going to be Tonka bean. Now this is a good fragrance to layer. If you check out the Jo Malone website, they'll tell you what other fragrances is good to layer with it. So if you are a girly who loves to layer perfume, definitely check them out. And as far as the price range, I think it's pretty good in price. All of the fragrances that I'm going to mention today are all under $200. If you still think that's a little pricey, definitely check out your local outlets because they always have great perfume at Off Sax Guys in the front area, <laughs> so definitely check them out. The price range is from $80 to $165. They have two different sizes. They have a one ounce for $80 and then they have a 3.4 ounce for the $185. It's a nice little gap in between those two, so if you're not really wanting to like dive into this right now, definitely go for the smaller bottle but this is the bigger bottle. It's light as far as the scent, so if you are looking for something a little bit more lighter for the fall, definitely give this one a try. Again, the rest of them that I'm going to show you are a little bit more heavier and much more sophisticated. The second fragrance would be my YSL Libre. This is the intense one, guys. This is the darker version, so if you are looking for something a little bit more light, definitely do not choose this one. This is a very sophisticated scent. And I'm saying sophisticated because it is. When I smell this, I see a classy woman walking down the street just like decked out. Like, and I want to say decked out like classic in style. Not really a trendy girly, but very much so sophisticated. All right. So the notes in this would be lavender essence. It's in here. Organic blossom. Orchid orchard and warm vanilla. Vanilla is known as an aphrodisiac and a lot of men actually really love vanilla on women. So if you are looking for that attention from the other sex, <laughs> definitely give this a try because the warm vanilla is in it. Or any perfume that does have a vanilla scent to it, definitely give it a try. I love this. And as far as the price, this one ranges from $95 to $155. Still under the $200 mark. And they also only have two sizes. They have a one ounce for $95. They also have a three ounce for $155. So you can choose whichever one you want. Also, when you are applying your perfume, you want to hit your pulse points. And your pulse points are like your neck, your wrist, behind your <laughs> behind your knee which is a weird spot so don't want to rub your perfume in it's going to mess up the smell and it actually changes the chemistry in a perfume from what I have read you want to just dab it on your arm and keep it pushing after a while the different notes inside of your perfume does change based on the hour now I didn't go as far as checking that out but I do know that each of the scents in here does come out as the day moves along. You have a top note, you have a middle note, and then you have a base. So throughout the day, those different smells are going to actually come out depending on the time of day. And so if you do get something and you don't like one of the notes, you may not want to get it because eventually that is going to be the more pronounced smell throughout the day. The next fragrance is Givenchy Linterdit. I do not know how to pronounce this. I'm going to tell you why. The way the apostrophe is sitting, it just doesn't seem right to me. <laughs> but that's on another note. It smells really good. It has more of a floral, woody smell. The top note in this one will be bergamot and fresh ginger. The base note is going to be patchouli and vetiver. I've never heard of vetiver before, so I looked it up to see exactly what it was. And there are a ton of fragrances that actually use it, so that's a good thing. And as far as the fresh ginger ladies, 
I love ginger in my food and my drinks, so I'm definitely gonna wanna wear it on my body. So the middle note would be orange blossom, jasmine, and tuberose. This is more like a like a rich auntie vibes, right? It's very chill, it's very timeless, and it's feminine, so it's not like that YSL one. It's very strong. This is much more feminine than that one. The price range for this one is $84 to $163. Again, under that $200 mark. They have multiple bottles. They have a 35 milliliter bottle for $35. They have a 50 ml bottle for $110. They have a 80 ml bottle for $131. And they have a 125 ml bottle for $163. So you have a choice of four different sizes for this one if you're into something like this. I am gonna link everything below for you guys to different places where they may be cheaper because I'm seeing some price differences on some of these websites. So if you're looking to build your fall collection of fragrances, definitely check this one out. So before I get into the next one, again, I want to emphasize on hitting your pulse points. So your pulse points are your neck, again, your wrists, behind your knees, places like that. I'll put a whole bunch of pulse points in the description so you guys can know. The reason why they tell you to put them there is because they last longer in these certain spots and the chemistry from the perfume and your body chemistry will release certain things when you actually wear it. So keep that in mind. The next fragrance is Replica and I got the Jazz Club one. Now at first I was a little skeptical because it's not a perfume, it's a toilet. So I was like, okay, it's not gonna last on my body long, but it really does. It is a darker in color. So like I said, if you're not into the dark color perfumes, definitely don't get this. I don't know if it's really a difference for, for ladies who like a lighter color in perfume or a darker color, but definitely this one. This is like a woody style perfume. So if you're not into this again, definitely do not get this. But I'm telling you, if you do not want attention, don't wear these. Regardless of gender, someone is always saying something to me, even younger people who I would think may think that this is a bit too much for them. But I do get like a lot of younger girls saying, you smell really good, miss. When they say miss, I know they know I'm old, right? <laughs> but definitely <laughs> the jazz clubs. One of the top notes in here is the pink pepper. The other top note is Primo Fior lemon. And the third top note is Aroli oil. Now, I've never heard of Neroli oil, so I did look it up as well. And it's another one that's in a ton of perfumes. From my understanding, when oil-based items are placed into a toilet, the fragrance does last longer, which makes sense to me because it does not go away when I wear it. So here are a couple of the middle notes. Rum Absolute, and then you also have Clary Sage. Okay, the Rum Absolute, I had no idea what it was. I had to look it up. <laughs> it's giving me like... Think about being at a jazz club, literally, and you have a bunch of men and women in there. It's a mixed fragrance. It doesn't seem like it's only meant for women, to be quite honest with you. I can see a man smelling like this who likes something lightweight. So if you've noticed, a lot of these perfumes are much more on the hmm, mature and kind of like masculine side. Men and women do gravitate towards these when I wear them outside, as opposed to me wearing something a little bit more sweet. I really don't get that from people. So the base note in this perfume is the vanilla bean and the Tabasco leaf. Now, again, that vanilla is, from what I know, it is an aphrodisiac, which makes a lot of sense, guys, because I'm telling you, the type of attention that I get when I wear this is like, insane. I remember being in Las Vegas and getting in the elevator and this lady and this man got on after and the husband says, oh my god, who smells so good? So everyone on the elevator was like, oh, it's her. I was just a little shy at the moment, but this is definitely another good one. Like I said, if you don't like attention from people, do not wear these, guys. <laughs> if you are enjoying this video at this time, make sure you are hitting that like button so I can produce more videos like this and many others, guys. As far as the price for this, they have two different bottles, $85 and $160. So they have a one ounce bottle and then they have a 3.4 ounce bottle. The one ounce bottle is $85 and the 3.4 ounce, which is this one, this is $160. I got the larger size. Like I said, I'm not really big on buying like the smaller one. I just like to have it. And when I run completely out, then I'll go ahead and buy it. This is more of a, I don't know, I would say like a weekend date night type of perfume. I would wear this on a date. 
with a nice, mature gentleman. Okay, girls? <laughs> so those are the two uh, bottle sizes that they have for the Jazz Club. All right, so the last fragrance that I'm going to be wearing this fall that is going to get me all of the attention that I want is the Miss Dior. Now, Miss Dior has a couple of bottles like this. I don't know if this is the original one, but the other bottles that I'm seeing, it does have like a sparkly flower as opposed to the, the, the silver one. Now, this is darker in color as well. The other ones are much more lighter. Oh, this is, this is, I think this is, it, this and the Joe Malone might be my faves, guys. So it has more of like a floral style. And then it has blood orange and mandarin in it. Now, if you are a foodie like me, <laughs> and if you live in Atlanta and you go to the farmer's market, they have a ton of oranges in there. And blood orange is one of the ones that I see. Orange on the outside, but inside of the orange, it's very, very red, like a burgundy-ish color. So that's one of the top notes that's in here. The middle note will be Lily of the Valley. And the base note is patchouli. See, patchouli is in a couple of these fragrances. So obviously, my body chemistry and me and who I am, I gravitate towards that. I also gravitate towards musk a lot because I love musk and vanilla. As you can see, they have vanilla and they have patchouli. So I'm leaning toward the, towards these a lot. I know why, because they smell amazing. But if this is something that you want to check out, the prices for this one would be $45 to $130. So they have three different bottle sizes. They have a 0.67 ounce bottle, and that bottle is $45. They have a 1.7 ounce bottle that is $100, so that's pretty reasonable. And then their 3.4 ounce bottle is $130. Again, still under $200, and I think that's amazing for these fragrances. If you're just getting into perfumes and you don't want to spend over $200 yet, guys, definitely check these out. Even if you don't want to spend this much, make sure you're heading to Off Sacks, okay? Because like I said, <laughs> In the front of off sacks, they usually have perfumes that you can try out, not expensive, and start to build your collection. Fashion and beauty, all of that goes together, so you can't be out here smelling like nothing. Now, I know people that don't wear perfume, okay, because a lot of men do like natural scents. They do, to be quite honest, um, but they also like vanilla. They like musk. They like certain smells that are like sophisticated, so if you are getting a lot of attention, that's probably because you're wearing some of these perfumes. <laughs> but all right, since you stayed this far, make sure you are hitting that like button again. So let's get into how do you select perfumes for your body's chemistry. The first thing you want to do is determine your body's pH level, okay? Is it really a neutral pH or is it acidic? That is crucial when you are selecting your fragrances to match your chemistry. Otherwise, you're going to get something and it's not going to match with your chemistry. It's going to produce a smell that you don't like. So make sure you are checking your pH levels before you start diving into step number two. The second step you want to do is you want to choose the right fragrance family. Fragrance families come in florals, they come in citrix, they come in sweet, fruity, musky. If you are looking for something that is more on the sweet side and you know you don't like sweet stuff, you might not want to do it. So definitely make sure you are looking into those fragrance families before you start to dive in and start buying perfume. If you already have perfume in your home, look at the bottles, look at the notes, see what you gravitate towards, then start going from there. Let's get into step number three. Choosing a fragrance based on your age. They always say the younger girlies and the younger men like things that are sweet, a lot more soft, but mature women and older women, they say they go for things like musk smells, vanilla, and things like that. Now, maybe I just got an old soul because I've always loved vanilla smells and musky smells and perfumes. So I don't know, maybe my soul is old. But let's throw that out the window because age does not matter. It's almost like fashion, right? Iris Eiffel, she is an older woman. People always say, oh, she dressed so crazy. She's so loud. But she's embracing her unique style regardless of her age. If you let your age stop you, you're never going to do anything 
ever, like literally. As you mature, your style should mature as well. And I don't mean like wearing a suit every day if you don't want to, but you definitely don't want to be out here looking like a teeny bopper. <laughs> you want to wear things that's going to complement your age and kind of grow with you. Don't let your age stop you from buying a fragrance that you think may be a little bit mature if you're younger or a little bit more sweet if you are older. So that is number three in trying to figure out the fragrance you should be choosing for your body's chemistry. All links for all of these fragrances will be in the description box, guys. I thank you guys for tuning in today. If you want another video like this, please let me know, comment below, and I will do another video for you. If you do not want to get attention this fall, then stay away from them, okay? If you want all the attention, all the smoke, definitely look into these fragrances, guys. All links will be in the description box for all of these fragrances. If you are looking to get all of the attention this fall from all of the people, <laughs> definitely check these out. I'm also going to link my latest blog post in there so you guys can check that out as well. That blog post, I'm strictly talking about how to buy luxury clothes, shoes, and bags for less, guys. If you're interested in that, definitely check that out. If you guys stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco We See You. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY. And don't forget to check out my personal style blog at Coco Styles NYC.com and my style services for anyone, well, women, Coco Styles NY.com. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.